you know, he got his final win at Martinsville, a place that he had had so much dominance in his career. But when you think of racers and you think of Indianapolis, it's hard not to think of Tony Stewart. He calls it, he had a home. He loves this state. He loves this venue. Um, a month ago, we wouldn't even have the 14 in the conversation. He wins Sonoma second in New Hampshire, coming off this high. Just excited, energized to be at the racetrack. And here he is in the final round of qualifying for his final race round. I think he has a real shot. He was sixth fastest in the first round. He was second fastest in the second round. So I think he's a real contender for this ball. And he's a, he's a big moment player. He is, with LeBron James in the NBA, waits for the biggest stage. You know, Phil Mickelson in the majors wait for the biggest stage. Tony Stewart, that's what he is. He's a racer, but he loves these big stages and always seems to rise to the occasion. So here he is right now, taking the green flag. See the racetrack, see where the shade is. There's shade in this side of the racetrack. They know that on this side of the racetrack harder than you think you can because it is shaded. The shade was not in turn four when he came through that, so they did recognize that and know they can push harder right here. And remember, Tony Stewart talked about that vibration after the first round. He was second in the second round. That didn't seem to slow him down. We'll see how he can do here in his third and final round of qualifying. So important to carry a lot of speed in the three, and then as soon as you get to the bottom, boom, right there, go back to the draw. Slow to the middle of four. That did not sound like a turn of four. Heard a couple of mistakes. 32 for McMurray. Tony Stewart, 48-82. He's fastest, but how about the guys like Kyle Busch that's just behind him? What a lap by So Tony. close. Oh. Kyle Busch, is he going to get there? Denny Hamlin can only end up second. He couldn't beat it. Kyle Busch going the wrong direction. Carl Edwards, though. Looking strong, does he get it? Carl Edwards goes up to the top. Kyle Busch on a good run as well. Kyle Busch responded. Kyle Busch goes fastest on that lap. Brad Keselowski, fifth quickest. Austin Dillon, eighth quickest of the eighth that have been out there on time. Kurt Busch just getting the green flag on his lap. And there's, aren't, there's not going to be two attempts, Rick. So everyone that's completed yep. the lap, they're done. You see on the left side of your board, first through eight, they've run their time lap. Kurt Busch has the green check. He's the only one on the race here. But now Martin Truex Jr. joins him. Ryan Newman, Kevin Harvick, they're still waiting. They still have time. With under two minutes left, they still have time to get a lap on their way. And you see the number that they're shooting for, 48.745. Harvick started out in the green, but lost a little of that as he went into one. Trying to gain it back, though. He stays right about a tenth of a second slower than what Kyle Busch has run. Riding along with Kurt. Kurt Busch, the 37-year-old out of Las Vegas. Best finish of fifth at this racetrack. Now riding along. The X can get it done. No nope, first race. Goes sixth quickest. Only two more to take time, Newman and Harvick. They're both going the wrong direction, Rick. It looks to me, Newman sixth, Harvick seventh. With under a minute to go in this final round, a year ago, Kyle Busch was able to sweep the Xfinity and the Cup races. And it's looking like he may be able to sweep qualifying as well. And you have to think when Kyle Busch was spinning yesterday in turn two, he wasn't thinking about the opportunity to sit on a pole. He was thinking about, am I going to need a backup car? So luckily there wasn't a lot of damage. Guys did a really good job of getting him back out, making those fixes very quickly. Near disaster turns into a pole. No cars coming off of pit road. No cars on the track. It'll be all smiles for the driver of the Skittles, number 18, Kyle Busch. He won the Xfinity pole earlier today. And now... He has won the pole in the Sprint Cup Series as well for the Brickyard 400. Seconds have ticked off the clock. That means qualifying is now over. Kyle Busch gets the win in qualifying.